Imagine how different your life would be if a year ago you focused daily on becoming 1% better. And I know that you may be thinking that this that's very small, that's very small and insignificant. But to be honest, it is those small decisions that we make every single day consistently that make the biggest difference in the long run. Our focus when it comes to self-improvement is to be a lot better than we were yesterday. To become 1% better every single day. But how can we become 1% better every single day? And that's what I want to go over with y'all today. I want to give y'all three ways that you can become at least 1% better than you were yesterday if you were to do these three things. Or at least if you were to do one of these things and then start to add on the second thing and the third thing as time goes on. So when it comes to improving your life, you cannot go wrong and you cannot miss out this one important thing. Everybody who's improving themselves at least has this in their life and that is working out. In order to make it a part of your life, you wanna start off small and we wanna focus on being consistent. Once we are consistent with a habit, then we can up the intensity because now we're consistent. We already have consistency, so we don't have to worry about falling off in one week or in one month. So if you've never worked out in any point in your life and you just wanna start working out, focus on starting small, focus on starting in a time frame where you know you can consistently practice every single day or for at least five times a week so that's why i say 30 minutes but if you know that you can work out consistently for an hour then start with an hour but i just want to add in 30 minutes because this is a good time that anyone can start to work out get some physical activity in and then you can start to up the intensity and this could be any type of working out that you can do it could be lifting weights it could be doing some form of martial arts like boxing which i 100 percent recommend it could be you doing some sit-ups or some push-ups. It could be you going for a 30-minute run. After you get that consistency in, then you start to up the intensity. Now, instead of working out for 30 minutes, you will start to work out for an hour. And then once you get that hour in, then you start to up the intensity even more. Now you will work out for an hour and 30 minutes, right? And then after that, you can start to up the intensity when it comes to the type of workouts that you're doing. So now you can lift a lot heavier. Now you can do more exercises. You can do more hard exercises, right? Now you're not a beginner. You already have consistency already. Now you don't have to worry about falling off at the end of the month because you're already consistent. So every single day when you work out for at least 30 minutes and then you up the intensity, you will be a lot better than you were yesterday. Your life will improve by 1%. Now, there's a lot of good benefits working out that I'm pretty sure you're already aware of, which is why you want to start working out. You will be a lot more confident with your own body, which is what all of us want to be in. We want to be in a position where we are confident in our own bodies. And so if you've never worked out before, and you don't have the body that you desire, you don't have the body that you look at yourself in the mirror when you're naked, and you actually, you know, you're looking at yourself and you, you know, you low key biting your lips type of thing. Like if you're not doing that and you don't desire, you don't like your body, then you wanna get to that point with working out and that's what working out is going to do to you. You will start to actually love your body and actually be comfortable with the body that you have. It will up your self-esteem. It will not only improve you physically and your self-esteem, but it will improve you mentally. You will notice yourself being less anxious. You will notice yourself being less depressive if you're someone who's suffering with depression and you start to work out or you start to go to the gym, or you start to go for runs, any form of exercise that you add into your life as a habit, you will notice yourself being less and less in that depressive state. So it not only improves your physical, but it will also improve your mental. It will improve a lot of your mental. It will be a lot more about strengthening you mentally than it is physically. Now, the second thing that you can do to improve by 1% daily is eating a lot healthier. When it comes to me and how I follow my nutrition, I basically eat 80% of the times healthy throughout the week. And then 20% of the times, I eat myself some foods that are not that healthy, that you can you know consider not healthy, and it's not really that good for me, but it's something that I give myself like as like a treat for like eating healthy throughout the week. And it gives me like a bit of a reward, right? It gives me a reward, and that reward helps me to maintain this good, healthy eating in the long term. So yesterday you ate unhealthy, right? Yesterday you ate unhealthy two times throughout the day. You ate healthy in the morning, but let's say that in the afternoon and at nighttime you ate unhealthy. Today, how about you focus on eating healthy two times a day and yeah, you might eat unhealthy once because you're still trying to add this habit into your life, but it's still a lot better than yesterday. So today you focus on eating one healthier meal. How about instead of eating fast food like McDonald's or Burger King, how about you instead eat yourself a good healthy meal like some chicken with some vegetables now when the day is over you will be a lot more better today than you were yesterday you will be one percent better you would have improved your life by one percent 
because you weigh a lot healthier today than you did yesterday. One of the things that I follow is the 80 20 rule. So, weekly, I look at it as a weekly thing, not like a daily thing. Weekly, I focus on eating 80% of the times healthy and 20% of the times not as healthy. I guess you could say the foods that I eat 20% of the times are not considered healthy, but it's like a reward to me. And I think that it's very healthy to add to yourself rewards when you're trying to make a habit a long term thing because it's not gonna be sustainable if you don't reward yourself for the good habits that you're practicing. It's like, how will you ever truly cherish the work that you're putting in if you don't reward yourself in one shape, way, and form? Now, I'm not saying that you should overdo it and reward yourself every single day, but reward yourself like one day in the weekend. Now, if you eat unhealthy all day for two days, now that's different. That's not following the 80-20 rule. Now you're eating 60% healthy and 40% healthy, which in the long term, you're not gonna see the results that you want. So that's just me personally, when it comes to me, I just wanted to give y'all my personal take on it. Like I eat 80% of the time throughout the week healthy and 20 percent of the time throughout the week unhealthy and so far it's been working good for me i mean my body is getting better i feel healthy i feel energetic uh, i feel good and and when it comes to my physique i mean i'm seeing the results that i want to see so i know that it's working out for me but like i said if you're going to reward yourself don't overdo it because when you start to overdo it and you can't control yourself you're going to start to go back to those old habits that you had before now when it comes to eating healthy i'm pretty sure you guys all know the good benefits that it has because it has good benefits just like it does when it comes to working out it will also improve the way you look your body you will start to notice yourself losing weight and losing that body fat that you have that stubborn body fat that's covering your abs and so you will start to notice like your face will be a lot more skinnier and not only that not only will you improve your physique but when you improve your physique you will also improve your confidence your self-esteem and the physical benefits that it comes with it you know better heart health better health overall your better mood, like when you eat healthier, it improves your mood. It improves the way you feel, your, ener your energy levels, it improves everything. Like eating healthy has so many benefits that it will take another video to make to explain all the benefits. If you focus every single day on eating a lot more healthier, and if you do that throughout the week, and let's say on a Sunday, you want you to treat yourself something, you wanna eat some type of food that you like that may not be healthy, you could give yourself that food as a reward for eating healthy throughout the week. And in the long run, you will see yourself improving your physical health and not only that, but your mental, your psychological, your mental, your emotional, you will improve all areas of your life when you start to eat a lot healthier. Now, the third way is reading. Now, I'm pretty sure if you guys have been following me for quite a bit of time now, you guys know that I am a big reader. I love reading and I read every single day. And for the past two years, every single day I have been reading for at least 30 minutes. And I have not broken that cycle every single day. And if you guys can tell, if you guys can notice the background from this video, you guys can see back there of the books that I have right now. Now, let's say yesterday you scrolled for 30 minutes mindlessly on your phone at night. Okay, what happened yesterday, you can't change it, right? But what about today? If you're watching this right now and it's in the afternoon and it's still not nighttime, yesterday and during the night, you scrolled mindlessly for 30 minutes. How about today, instead of scrolling mindlessly for 30 minutes, how about you instead read for 30 minutes because reading does you a lot more better than scrolling mindlessly on Instagram or on Twitter or on Facebook will ever do to you. It will be a lot better to read for 30 minutes than it is to scroll mindlessly for 30 minutes. If you were to read for 30 minutes today instead of scrolling for 30 minutes, you would make your life 1% better than it was yesterday. If you read every single day for at least 30 minutes, you will add this habit into your life and you will be a lot more knowledgeable and your life will be a lot more better. Because all this knowledge that you're getting from reading books, you can implement that knowledge to make your life a lot more better as well. So not only will you improve your life by reading, but you will also improve your life by putting all the knowledge that you're getting from reading into your life. That's kind of like killing two birds with one stone, right? You're reading to improve your life, but you're also improving your life by adding that knowledge that you're getting from the books into your life. There's people out there who have put their experience in, in one book, like in a 200, 300 page book, and you you don't even have to pay sometimes for these books like me like i love reading the books physically but if you want to read it online like you could get those books like pdf form for free like you could get all this knowledge for like less than 20 dollars or even free and you could add this knowledge into your life and improve your life as well like that's crazy like that's a good investment to make like if you're going to invest in something invest in yourself and that involves you reading books, buying these books, or taking the time to read these books online through PDF form if you don't wanna pay for the books for at least 30 minutes every single day. Because if you've never read ever a day in your life, a lot of people think reading is boring. And I used to think about that myself as well. I used to hate reading books in high school, but once I started to read the right books and I started small by reading at least 30 minutes, 
I started to make it a habit to the point now where there are days where I read for like two hours. There's days where I read for an hour and a half, right? I could read that long now and it doesn't get boring because reading is a habit now. It's something a part of my life now. And I also enjoy the books that I read as well. Focus on making it a habit by starting small. For at least 30 minutes, focus every day on grabbing a book and for 30 minutes, just focus on reading the lines every single day. It's flipping the page and reading the lines. Once the 30 minutes are up, put your bookmark there and go about your day. And then tomorrow you do that again. And once you start to make this a habit, then you can start to read longer than 30 minutes. Reading really does improve your life. Like me personally, like it really does help you mentally. Like it reduces a lot of stress. It reduces a lot of anxiety. Like whenever you're overthinking a lot and your mind is all over the place, like just grabbing a book and just reading, like it really puts you in the present moment. It really puts you in that moment where you're just reading every line and that puts you in that present state. Like me personally, I'm gonna give you guys like a, a inside of how I read, right? So I grab the book. Once I grab the book, like sometimes I, I'll have like background, like noise in the back. So like I'll have like rain noise or I'll have like nature noise or sometimes I'll just read without noise. And then I'll read my book. I'll read it for at least 30 minutes. And sometimes I'll go longer than that. I'll read for an hour. I'll read for an hour and a half. And during that time, I'm in that present moment and I'm not focused on anything else book the book that I'm reading and the line that I'm reading. And not only has reading improved my life because I'm reading and I'm gaining knowledge, but it has also improved my life because the knowledge that I've gained from the books that I've read, I've added it into my life. I've bettered my life because of it. There's a lot of books that I've read that I added a lot of the knowledge that I gained from it and it has improved my own life. Like there's books that I read when it comes to habits where before when I had bad habits, I didn't know what habits were. I didn't know what bad habits were. And when I read a book about habits, I started to improve my habits because of the knowledge that I gained from that book. And then I started to focus on other areas of my life that I wanted to improve on. There was a moment in my life where I really had a lot of difficulty staying focused and really being productive. And so I started to read books about how to become more productive, how to stay focused. And when I read those books and I gained that knowledge, I applied it to my life. And I got to a point where I was more productive than I had ever been. And I was more focused than ever before. It's a two way thing, right? You're reading books and that's improving your life but you're also applying that knowledge from the books and that also is improving your life. So it's a lot of improvements that come when it comes to you reading. So these are just a couple of things that you can do to start to improve your life and become 1% better than you were yesterday. You remember that you wanna make these small changes right now and you wanna focus on becoming consistent. If you already have consistency down, then focus on upping the intensity. But if you've never practiced any of these habits before and you know that you lack consistency, focus on starting small and focus on showing up every single day with that habit. And then once you have consistency down, now you can up the intensity. So maybe you don't practice all these three things in one day tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow you focus on working out for 30 minutes. The next day you focus on working out for 30 minutes and you focus on eating a lot healthier than you did the day before. And then the day be after that, you focus on not only eating healthier and working out for 30 minutes, but you also focus on reading for at least 30 minutes. And then you do that every single day. And then now you have three habits that you never practiced before. Now you have that into your life. And now you start to practice these habits and now you start to improve by 1%. You start to become better than you were yesterday by at least 1%. The thing is, we think that these changes that we're making in our lives that are small, we think that they don't make a difference. But to be honest, in the long run, they make a huge difference. I mean, the life that you have right now is made up of all the small decisions that you made in the past. And all those small decisions have added up and have made and have formed who you are right now. So think about changing any small decisions that you're gonna make right now that are good decisions and make sure that you practice them every single day. These small things that you're doing every single day, they add up and they will make your life a lot better in the long run. But anyways, that's all I gotta say, I'm out.